but he played so good. He outspaced me every single creep. He hit every single Q. And I was just like, okay, this guy is either a scripter or like the best player. And then like days after, I was like, oh, shit, it was, <laughs> it was <f> crazy. <laughs> then makes sense. Hey everyone, I'm Flacket and today we will be watching and ranking some of the most legendary AD carry plays of all time and of course guys, uh, the clips sent by you of course and uh, let's get started. Uzi and knowing if he can position properly, it would then allow him to clean up fights his main. But OMG going for the fights, they have the man advantage. Oh, lovely, nicely going very deep. Cool gonna go over towards Sammy. There's a Stan United being used oh, very, very them. early. Uzi is coming in from the backside. Surprise, here comes the vein. Kill for White. Sam's not gonna escape this one. They focus down Uzi. Well, look at him. He's still alive. He's still surviving. He stays alive. Ace for Royal Club. What a Amazing fight coming out oh of my god! Okay, I mean, uh, this clip leak looks like uh, when Jankos was good, so probably like 10 years ago, probably. Okay, it's uh, Jankos Ari. Oh my god, the rumble damage actually. Okay, Uzi flanking! Oh, I mean, I don't see much, because it's like... <laughs> the game didn't look that good, but it's like smurfing on them, I think. Giga chat Uzi. I'm just checking if he dodged anything. I mean, they don't have Arus ulti, Lulu gets one shot. I mean, he dodged Lee Sinee, I guess, with the flash. And the flank was like really good. I mean, it's Uzi Bain, right? It's like the, the mega classic play. So, I mean, I'm not sure. Maybe... And where should I rank this? Because like, it's a good play and like good flank. But like mechanically, he didn't do much. Because like the fight was already won, right? Like they used like... I saw like a battle ulti, I, I think. It's like really low... I mean, it's not like low quality, but like the game is like so old. So I don't even know what they used. But like, Rumble was one main for sure. But I don't know. I mean, where should I rate this? I mean, for sure it's not Janko's gameplay, right? Because like, Janko has like no hands. And Uzi has like really good hands. But, um, I mean, it's not like my life with the Jankos. Like, the play was like good, but it wasn't like very good. Like, the flank was really good. But like, he didn't have to like execute much. Because like, they didn't have anything. So, I mean, but it's Uzi, right? It's like mega legendary AD carry. So maybe I put it, um, I mean, I'm between S or A. But I think, I mean, I think I put it S. Like, considering, like, the time of the play, like, I don't know what year is this, but, like, I probably wasn't even watching League at this time. I was probably, like, <laughs> I don't know, 10 years old. So I guess I put it S, because I don't think there was, like, many AD carry that just, like, <laughs> had the balls to flank, you know? <laughs> I think, um... I mean, I think kind of what Uzi did is like kind of like, I don't know, he was like, I mean, I'm not going to say like the pioneer on the flanking AD carries, but like, for sure he did something that like not many people at the time was doing. So I guess I just put it S, I think. I mean, when I did start like playing League and, and like finding out competitive and stuff, I like my biggest idol was like Reckless, which I'm like pretty sad because um, every time I join LEC, he's like not playing anymore. Like, right, I joined in G2. Uh, and he was like the like before me. He was playing in G2, and then I joined after him, and he like didn't play in any team. And then when I went back to the academy, he went to LEC. And then when I went to LEC, he went back. I mean, he's like now reload support, right? So he's like teamless, I think. Uh, so it makes me pretty sad that I can't play against my what used to be my idol. And I still, I mean, I watched so many reckless bots when I was like trying to learn from AD carry role. That um, I watch from his like POV that he doesn't have like the damage uh, like indicator like the numbers like we, basically when you auto you don't see the damage and I play like that because of like reckless bots and um, I watch a lot of like Guma Yushi as well and I watch a lot of like Uzi Uzi especially for like laning phase and like the way this guy clicks and stuff are like the clicks are like so smooth and it's like really good like mechanically so I would say those are like the three AD carries I watch the most. This fightling go under the brush, they know Rookie's behind somewhere. When will they find it? What's the play? Forward they go, they might have knocked him down! Puts down the pool, but is there, there enough is. damage? They're gonna try! They ult over the top, but it's already a two for zero. Viper doesn't die, but one finally comes through. It's up to Jackie Love, but he gets stunned! Clutch from Tarzan, but Morgana Viper. can't find it either! Viper stays alive, that's the full pentakill! And they're around Midland, I, I, they're all around Midland, okay. They find the gauge on with who is oh it's Vladimir, it's the shy Vladimir actually. Oh my god, the Kiana flank. But I didn't see how Viper swipe with I'm going back. Okay, they one shot the Vladimir. 
Oh, okay, Viper reaction was really good actually of the Kiana ulti. I didn't even see. Now he good stopwatch. Oh my god, with his one shot Aerion, I don't even remember this play. What? Oh my god, with. Do, do I see the build of this guy? Oh, I don't see the items. I thought for one second it was like funnel because there's like the seek and it's like level 15. I thought it was like funnel, but no, it's just like mega hit <laughs> actually. But yeah, I mean, he played he played really well. Like the reaction on the Kiana ulti from Fog because they didn't even have vision, it was really clean. And um, I mean, he low key mega smooth this, this fight actually. I mean, this play, hmm. I mean, I'm like mega fanboy of Viper, right? And I'm not sure if I'm gonna be biased. I mean, they're like down to zero. So there's like pressure and it's like worlds. So it's like extra pressure. And he's playing AD carry against Lysin, Kaisa, Kiyana, and Vladimir. So you need to be like mega careful. Okay, the, oh actually, it's a 4v5. Oh my god. It's a 4v5 pentakill. I mean, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be biased or not. And I, I don't know like the other plays. Actually, yeah, I, I, I didn't even see the other place. So maybe I'm like ranking like mega high, but the other place are like better. I mean, I don't know. Like Viper is the GOAT. <laughs> the GOAT. I put it in my life without Jankos. Which means like very good, right? Because I hate Jankos. So yeah, I think I think I put it in like yeah, in, like the, the top tier, I guess. Why I watch Viper a lot and what I think makes him like one of the best uh, AD carries in the world, I think it's like not only his team fights because I think he's like really smart on like team fights or like how to position. And um, I really like one thing he has because like there's like other AD carries that are like really safe, uh, but. Viper really knows when to play on like the edge and um, he even sometimes dies but they end up winning the team fight right because like, he puts himself in a position where he's, where he's like dealing a lot of damage but as well he's like exposed to dying but if they commit a lot of resources to kill him his uh, his team is just gonna wipe the the like the rest of the players so I think it's like really good to to watch like a player to watch and learn from him because uh, if you want to to play really aggressive, I think Viper is like, I mean, I'm not gonna say like the guy, right? But he's like one of the guys you can watch and learn. Because he, he's like really smart on like when when to position himself aggro or, or and uh, when to play like safer. And as well, I think his like laning phase overall is like really good. I mean, his champion pool, I think he can like play like most of the stuff. But like overall, this guy in laning phase is like probably like one of the best in the world for sure. Wants to buy time for Danny. Two v five is possible. I mean, you're not gonna stop the Baron, but you they might get a fight. team fight. He's gonna shoot. What? You're kidding me. Centauri fights early. Kill number one. Here comes kill number two. Danny's in for number three. Crystal, the king of Pentacles. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. Why? Okay, they're two v five from the pit. Oh, they're mega chunked in with him. Oh my God. Okay, yeah, I remember this. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, this movement was mega clean, what the f***? Wait, it's so hype actually, with the crowd, uh, like, perma screaming, oh my god. <laughs> Wait, I wanted to check only because, like, there's one movement, it was so clean. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm not sure if it was intended or not, but he, like, cancelled one auto, so he can dodge, like, the Shen down. I mean, if it's intended, he's, like, mega smart, because he doesn't have tank in Shulti. But, um... I mean, I think it's like, I mean, he played really good, but as well, Jinx in this meta was like mega OP. And I think like, <laughs> it was so unlucky, like, like the Nashori was just so unlucky. Oh, I remember! I remember! Wait, wasn't this the clip? Because like, Nashor healed up or he just like missed might? Yeah, okay, I remember now. Yeah, it healed up the Nash. But like still, I mean, he was like Jinx reset, everyone is like mega chunked. They don't have like many tools to go on her. But it's true that she doesn't have like tank and shulti. Uh, but still, like he played really clean. He played really clean, me like mechanically. I mean, ranking this play. I mean, it's true that he's playing Jinx, right? And if I rank a Jinx play very high, a lot of people get triggered. Because a lot of people think this champion is like completely unskilled. Which sometimes I agree. I think this champion sometimes can be like really like OP and like don't need like many hands to play but i think this play he actually played well like despite you know everyone was chunked and he got the reset i think he still played well like dodge he i think he dodged like shen town and something else which i mean can look easy but i don't think it's like that easy like especially when you're like in the heat of the moment right but i don't think it's like mega extraordinary play i think if you're like top ad carry like in like in the top leagues right if you're ad carry of the top leagues i think you can still like do this like reliably so i would say 
I mean, I put it on the A, I guess, but it's like A+, plus. but I don't have the ranking. Because I think if I put it A, it's like too low, but this is like a mega big play. But health bars at half on some critical members means it might not be as important as it looks. Shy's gonna take some damage. Rookie looks to go in. Does get the passive pop. Shy's still gonna be soaking. Rook comes down. Damage goes through. Jackie's able to find two. Jackie Love! Yes. Jackie Love just found everybody! And that's gonna be a triple for IG! They're gonna find everyone! It's KT Ace! Okay, um, a 4 3. They have, I mean, I was gonna say they have soul, but they have only four drakes. Okay, Rookie going in. Talia mega chunked. Oh, Death Tristana. Oh my god, wait, the flushing. Oh my god. What? Wait, I need to watch it again. I need to watch it again. He has flushed and some and Talia, I think, no? Okay, nice feathers. Oh, he's the old Lethal Temp as well. Oh my god, he changed so much the game. Oh my god, he has dealt so much damage. Oh my god, it's so good. Yeah, it's so well played. It's so well played, actually. Like, he's waiting for the brown mid to run out. He has a Lethal Tempo. He's waiting for Talia to walk up. Oh, and did he have ulti, did Jackie? Oh, and he didn't even have ulti, Jackie Love. Oh my god. Okay, this play is mega clutch. And it's 2 2 as well. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, he played so well, actually. And if I have to rank this play, I would probably put it, like, without, like, hesitation in, like, the best play, like, we've seen. I mean, I know we mentioned, like, Viper play, right? With, like, the 4v5 and stuff. And it's, like, mega impressive. But, like, this game is, like, a it's, like, pretty close game. And he just flashed forward with, like, <laughs> no ulti, no nothing. I mean, they didn't have brown me and stuff, right? But he, like, waited for, like, Talia to walk up. He flashed in a position where he can only get hit by Tistana. So I think I, I put it in, like, in like my life without Jankos, but, like, the very first. Because I think he played, like, really well. I mean, let's be clear, right? Having the balls to flash forward with no ulti in, like, 2-2 two -two game, a minute 30, is a giga chat gameplay. So, for sure, I put it in, like, the best play. Um, I mean, so far, we still have, like, the last play. But for sure, this, this play is, like... Mega good. Like the hardest, I think, was like Uzi in solo queue, and in, in like I don't know, like 2018 or 17. He was in Europe, I remember. I think at that time I was like not the best. I think I, I was like in fact pretty bad player. But I do remember I was like driving one trick, and I played against Uzi Ezreal. And usually, if you see Ezreal, and especially if you're a driven player, you consider it like a good matchup for driven, right? You think it's like kind of like free matchup. You can punish him. You're like really strong early. You can look for dives. But I played against Uzi in solo queue, so he, had, he didn't have like his support, he was like random support from Europe And he was like damn one or something And I just played against him and I was like, okay I don't know who is this guy But it's either Scripter or like the best player in the world Maybe I was overreacting right, because I was like pretty trash at, <laughs> at the time But still, I got so shocked because I, I, I felt it was like Ezreal countering Draven I, I legit felt so useless playing Draven in a matchup, I thought it was free, which I still think it's free, right? right? But he played so good. He outspaced me every single creep. He hit every single Q. And I was just like, okay, this guy is either a scripter or like the best player. And then like days after, I was like, oh, shit, it was, <laughs> it was <fucking> Uzi. <laughs> that makes sense. After that day, I was like legit watching Uzi bots so much, like so many bots. Because I just got like so hard stomped, I, I couldn't believe it. To keep mid lane alive because top and hip has been killed and they even got the pick off on bang rocks doesn't actually have to stop pushing right now they can delay the recalls the arrow no. arrows look at the arrow no. get teleport he no. no. stopped him, stopped him. We think they can push it's now on wolf it's a teleport coming in for spam and curl how much more can be done okay so this like mega base race situation i remember this play i was watching with like friends of mine and this arrow is just like insane like i'm i'm not sure if it's like on vision I don't even remember, but like, it's just insane, right? Like, he has cancelled the TP and they can just like manage to win the game because of this. But I'm checking if he had like vision. Okay, I think he had vision though. Or like, he maybe lost vision, but he knew where he was recalling. But like, still, this is like mega clutch arrow. Like, he, he legit did it insta because otherwise he doesn't have time. Because if you realize, by the time the arrow hits, like, the casting of the teleport is like almost finished. Like, it's actually like crazy. It's actually like crazy. Like, the timing is actually like mega crazy. It's actually so insane. But if I have to rate it, where would I rate it? Because it's like, I mean, like, the, like, the, doing the arrow, like, pressing the button is like not mega hard, right? But you need to be really fast. But as well, 
it's like you he doesn't like the thing is he doesn't need to be watching like the screen right now like his like surroundings because like there's no one right on 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 enemy base that that is defending because they see everyone actually it's like hard to rank because like, the thing is the play itself is not hard to do but like the outcome is insane right like he legit wins the game because of one arrow <laughs> and he like cancels the tp like like 0 0.1 seconds which is like crazy but i'm not sure if i like i'm not sure where to put this right because if i put it because of like hype or like outcome sure it's like the best play because they win the game because of one arrow but like using the arrow is like not like extremely hard right it's just like you just watch where he's like recalling and you can just like press the button but you need to be really fast but still the play is insane and play is the goat so I mean, it's like what I said is like probably mega biased already. If I say it's the goat and I'm gonna rank him higher, higher because of this, it's like mega biased, I guess. But I will put it on on S. I'm not sure if like before Uzi or after Uzi, but like because I don't want to put like it's like a mega insane play, but this is so epic. Like the clip is is epic. <laughs> it's like legit. The clip is history. So that's it for the video guys, thank you so much for uh, watching with me all these clips from all the legendary AD carries of all time and uh, you can let me know in the comments how you think I, I did it, probably not the best I'm gonna be honest but you can still let me know guys, thank you so much for uh, your support and see you all around.